Hello, it's me, Robin, with Simple Food, Simple Life. I got my work shirt on today. <laughs> and and I got my, if you hear that snorting, that's my dog. She, sometimes, that's how it is. I got my work shirt on today. I got my jeans on. Look at that, watch this. I got my jeans on. Woo! Come on. I got my jeans on. That's my foot. <laughs> and because I have some work to do outside today. Shall we stretch? Oh! I have some work to do outside today. Which means I'm going to have to do some heavy lifting because, you know, it's not just a trite phrase, but winter is coming. And I live in a place where winter is coming, so there's some things that I have to finish up outside. Okay? All right. So, um, that's what I'm going to do. But, I thought, I thought I would show you, um, what I, what I, what I've had to eat today. Would you be interested in that? No? Well, watch anyway. I don't know. Pacify me. I'm old. <laughs> I'm old, so you gotta, you gotta pacify me. Oh, oh there we go. Awesome. All right, now then. Uh, hang on, because I'm gonna show you what I had to eat today. Okay, this is what I've had to eat today. I have had, <laughs> I've had nothing. <laughs> I've had nothing. It's 1014. I've had nothing so far today. And you know what? I'm still, I'm, I'm still alive. I'm doing great. So, um, it's rather chilly this morning. I think it's still in the thirties, but anyway, I got to I have to go out to my garage and um, get a few things set up because I have one more storm window to put on and the leaves are starting to overwhelm me. So um, I don't really care if I have leaves in my yard, but I do have to blow the leaves away from the driveway because every time I open the garage door, they get sucked into the garage, which that's no good. And um, they kind of tend to gather around my um, doorways. So I'm going to have to blow blow the leaves off. Uh, I just get out my leaf blower, my handy dandy leaf blower, and I'm going to get out there and I'm going to blow, blow the leaves away. And um, a couple of other things. So uh, I'm going to do that. And if I feel hungry later, I'll eat. If not, um, I won't. But I'll definitely show you what I'm going to eat. And at this point, it is nothing right now. <laughs> I have had coffee. I have my water, had coffee. I'm still taking my vitamins, so I take my zinc, my vitamin D3, and my vitamin C and my potassium so i take all of those at once and um that's what i'm doing until i feel differently about it i'm still gonna do it so all right that's it all the critters have been fed i'm doing great i'm feeling i'm feeling extremely well and um i would say if, um, if you want to change something in your life, if you want to change how you're feeling, then I would say you might want to change your diet. You might want to change what you're eating. And I'm eating low carb, no carb. At this stage, it's just mostly no carb. I'm feeling very good. And um, for an old broad. <laughs> oh, Anyway, I'm feeling very good. And, and that's, that's it. So I will eat when I get hungry. And, um, but 
I'll show you what I'm eating if you're interested in that. And like I said, if you're not, you can at least have some sympathy and stay with me long enough to see what it is. <sighs> okay. All right. I'll be back. All righty. All righty. I'm going to have some fat. Um, I'm not eating anything. I'm just having fat. Okay. Now, I've got my, my dairy heavy cream. Heavy cream, nothing added here. Let's look what's in heavy cream. In this particular uh, quart of heavy cream, it's a total fat of six grams, if you count that kind of thing. And um, it's uh, cholesterol, it's 25 milligrams. Ooh, that's scary. <laughs> Sodium is zero. Total carbohydrates are zero. Dietary fiber is zero. Woo! -hoo! And total sugars is zero. And the protein is zero. Alrighty. So basically, this is a quart of fat. Awesome. So I'm going to pour myself about four ounces of fat. Yes, I am. In this little glass holds about four ounces. Do you remember these glasses back in the day? You could go there and you could get one free for your baby. And I think the glass was like 10 cents if you wanted to buy it. <laughs> okay, I've had this for a long time. Alrighty, um, I'm going to drink my cream. Here's to you and here's to me. And if we should ever disagree... Here's to me. <laughs> mm. That's good. Now, this is just pure fat. I think of cream as fat. Butter is just fat. Uh, I don't even think of it as dairy. It's just fat. And also, uh, most of the bacon that you buy in the package, that's really just primarily fat. There's some protein in there, but I, I tend to think of bacon, cream, butter, it's fat. So, it's really delicious. I find that taking a swig, about four ounces of cream, actually kind of coats my stomach. And it not only coats my stomach, my throat just kind of feels soothing. And um, you, can, you can taste the fat on your lips. It's like lip balm <laughs> it, it is that's awesome awesome mm. I want to lick the inside of the glass okay now I'm going to show you something else this is another way I incorporate fat if you take a stick of butter a stick of butter has eight tablespoons and it's usually marked on the wrapper right you have the increments marked on the wrapper so what I like to do is I like to take a stick of butter I slice it in tablespoons according to the increments on the wrapper I rewrap it pop, pop it in my freezer and then uh, every now and again not every day but sometimes once or twice a day depends I take a the, the tablespoon square and I eat it while it's frozen. And it's kind of crunchy. It's really good. Now, I've been picking at this for probably, um, I don't know, a week and a half. So it's not like I go through a stick in a week. But... It's just butter. And it tastes really good. Um, it's cold. And it's got that bite to it. Um, it's a tablespoon. So, what's a tablespoon? Oh, 100 cal calories. I don't care about calories. I don't count calories. 
I just eat fat and fat and meat. Right now, I can't say that I'm even necessarily low carb. Most of my meals consist of just no carbohydrates, fat, and a fatty piece of meat if I can get it. I picked up that. Uh, 7327 ground beef at High V. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I've always loved the fatty ground beef, but I love it even more now. It's awesome. So, this isn't a meal. I'm just eating fat. And fat is very sustaining. Mm. It's very satisfying. Now, you will criticize me for this if you want to. Put it in the comments if you if you're all ew, that's gross. No, it isn't. Cause guess what? <clears throat> when people bake stuff, when we bake stuff, we have all kinds of crappy fat in there, and it's not necessarily good butter fat. It's just crappy fat. You're eating fat all the time. Every time you turn around, it's just disguised in different stuff. It's just, it's stuck in your carbohydrate delivery systems because basically carbohydrates are just delivery systems for the flavors that you love. If you're eating a piece of chocolate, you're eating one heck of a lot of fat. I'm just saying, you are. So, I got my stuff done outside. <clears throat> well, all that I could see anyway right now. I got those major things that I wanted to do. And um, so I just thought, since I was back in the house, I would have myself a little fat break. And <laughs> a little fat break. Y'all mate. Now, I could use the rest of this on my face, couldn't I? But I have a little bit of coffee left. Um, like the last cup in that pot. So I think I'm going to drink that. And if you if you never drank a cup of coffee after you ate a tablespoon of butter and drank cream, you're missing out on one of the world's best flavors. I don't like to put butter and cream in my coffee. But by golly, sometimes after I eat it, it's like... After I eat that, it's like delicious and wonderful. So, don't be afraid of the fat. Fat's good for you. Cholesterol's okay. You know, your brain is made out of cholesterol. Come on, you got to have some cholesterol. If we didn't have cholesterol, we'd be, we'd be gay. All right, I'm going back to my chores after I have this wonderful, delicious cup of coffee. And I might sit down and read a chapter of my book. I'm rereading Cannery Row, which is, if you're familiar with it, it's by John Steinbeck. You know, it's a rather small book. I've read it, I don't know, a lot, four times. <clears throat> and um, so every now and again, I just sit down and I just read a little chapter of that. Characters that are the great. If you could pick up a, a, um, a copy of Cannery Row, oh, do it. It's a pleasure to read, and all the characters are larger than life. You will love it. All right, we'll be back later when I show you what I'm going to eat. <clears throat> oh, when I eat. Okie doke. It's about 2.35 in the afternoon. I'm getting ready to have my first meal. Well, this might be my only meal. If I decide to eat something else later on, I will show you that as a postscript. But... Just so you know, I've got a, um, a hamburger, I've got an egg, a soft egg, which is delicious with the hamburger, by the way. I've got some bacon pieces that I popped in the air fryer. I have some chopped up cucumber. Now this cucumber is left over from what I had in the garden. 
and I actually put up like two or three jars of this chopped cucumber it's only in vinegar and water and this here it's about two months old I just popped them in the refrigerator and they stay perfectly good they're perfectly delicious they're still nice and crispy they're awesome so they're not preserved but they are preserved in the refrigerator all right so that's what I'm going to eat and just to let you know this is what I got done today I got my outdoor work done I did some laundry I took out the garbage I cleaned the bathroom uh, and I gave the dog a bath <laughs> as well I give her a bath in the utility sink downstairs so she had a bath uh, she's so funny I always put on my red apron when I'm gonna give her a bath and when she sees me in the red apron she tries to hide because she knows there is a BATH coming um, I uh, made a low carb soup for another day and I cleaned the litter box I took out the garbage as well and I went to the store um, Hy-Vee has uh, ground chuck 8515 for $2.48 it was on sale yesterday today and through tomorrow so if you're near a Hy-Vee and you want to take advantage of that please do um, and you're allowed a three pound limit they actually in the center refrigerated sections by the meat counter they actually have them already packaged up and priced but the discount comes down at the checkout just so you're aware okay that's it for me if I do eat something else today I will let you know if I have another meal all right and I will put that as a postscript at the at the end 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 of the video all right listen I love you guys you know I do and as always you know that little is much when God is in it please like if you like dislike if you don't like subscribe share because I don't know maybe other people want to know what an old lady eats <laughs> all right love ya and I will talk to you later bye bye